Good morning, and thank you so much for being here today. I want to thank all the partners of the Fireworks Coalition for being here, and I'd like to have thank you for being here. Um, you've had a lot of numbers thrown at you, and uh, we're here today because we oppose the bill as it's currently drafted and it is attempting to become law this Wednesday. Uh, as you know, we all probably will have to agree in this room that the current law is flawed. We all know that. Uh, and we all agree that we need to be able to come together to uh, compromise and find out with all the stakeholders in the room what can be done to strengthen the law, give law enforcement and fire officials the authorities they need, at the same time allow the independent, those who wish to uh, celebrate and use fireworks, the ability to exercise their liberty interests while at the same time balancing the liberty interests of the neighbors uh, who may have elderly parents or ill parents, have a, believe me, and uh, I started out being a municipal prosecutor in Perrysburg and uh, I had to handle Rossford uh, calls all the time in which uh, we had animals upset by, I know this doesn't sound like much, but at three o'clock in the morning when you're trying to sleep and the dogs are barking because all of the uh, fireworks are going off, it again is a disturbance of the peace and causes great problems. We've heard the safety issues, those are the paramount issues. But when there is no restriction in this bill for time uh, and manner in which the uh, fireworks are set off, where there is no restriction except for you can do it on your property or with permission on somebody else's property. So there's no restriction that my neighbor, cheek and jowl to me, can, which has happened, frankly, in my neighborhood, um, can set off fireworks in front of my house or beside me and endanger my property, um, there's a problem with the bill. I, I happen to know and have worked closely with Senator Burke and uh, Dr. Johnson uh, on a number of issues, uh, particularly the opiate issue. I know they're honorable legislators. I know that they believe strongly in the ability to exercise one's right, their liberty interests to set off fireworks. They're honorable legislators. We have a difference of opinion, first of all, as to the substance of the bill as it's drafted. It's too broad, it needs, great, uh, it, it needs a great deal of editing and amending. We have problems with the bill because of the process. I, I can tell you that I picked up the phone this week to talk to law enforcement that were unaware that this bill was even moving this year, so that the folks who are actually going to have to deal with the phone calls are, are, are were not even part of the process um, as a whole um, to, in the drafting of this. This is, as you look in the current bill, you have a one-year delay uh, in implementation. Our, our position is, look, if you're willing to wait a year, why not wait a month? And when the new General Assembly gets together next month, let us sit down as stakeholders and come up with a bill where law enforcement where fire officials, where the, the uh, medical community, where the folks who have to deal with the aftermath of fireworks um, can sit down and put some reasonable restrictions on the use of these fireworks, the purchase and use. Um, there are many statistics that you've heard today. I, last year we estimate that 11,400 people nationwide were treated in emergency rooms and nearly 50% were bystanders and not actively engaged in, in setting off those fireworks. Nearly 40%, as you've heard, happened to children younger than 15. And earlier this month, this year, a four-month-old in Youngstown was severely burned when a firework uh, being set off by neighbors landed in her playpen. Multiple studies that shown that, as Dr. Smith has said, even if with parental supervision, these things happen, and they happen quickly. Of the 42 states that allow consumers to discharge 1.4G fireworks, is what we're talking about here, only half of them, or 21 of them, uh, allow for discharge only uh, around the 4th of July. So you have restrictions on at least half of those states as to time in which those fireworks can be set off. And, and also many of them restrict aerial and rocket propelled fireworks from being used etc. So there are lots of things that we need to contemplate when we look at this, uh, this legislation. Uh, 
uh, respectfully speaking, what we ask of the General Assembly is, give us time. What's the hurry? What's the problem that you're trying to resolve in such breakneck speed that our, the, the stakeholders haven't had the ability to sit down and talk to the General Assembly and their legislators to see what could be reasonably fashioned um, at, uh, in a timely way. And so as we close today, we want to thank you all for being here and ask uh, for any of the folks that might be listening to uh, uh, the news tonight that, that they contact their legislators and they say, give us some time, even a month. We can start over, introduce the bill, let's have hearings. We've had, I think, two hearings in the, House, in the Senate and one in the House and we'll have another one Wednesday. It's not enough time and those have been... It's, it's been moving very quickly. So we thank you all for being here today.